Well, the popularity of at-home genetic tests to screen for diseases is growing. We're looking at the benefits and drawbacks this morning in our series Grand Rounds. That's the practice of medical professionals teaching other doctors about advancements. This month, the FDA approved the first direct-to-consumer test in the U.S. that's designed to find three gene, gene mutations leaked to breast cancer without a doctor's prescription. This is just the latest in a growing number of cheaper and easier genetic tests that can reveal information about your ancestors, risks for certain diseases, or even why you're sensitive to bitter taste. Some tests can be done for less than $100. Our David Agus is here with more, and let's talk about 23andMe. I've actually done it, and I want to ask too. you about that later. Yeah. yeah, me too. What can it predict exactly, and, and what are some of the, the concerns that doctors have about it? Well, it can tell you your ancestry. It could tell you where, how you metabolize caffeine, but it's not going to tell you some of the really serious health traits that you probably care about. So they just got FDA approval for three of over a thousand mutations that can cause breast and ovarian cancer. That's only three of them. So what worries me is if you take it, you go, oh, I'm not at high risk, but you may have one of the other 900 plus. There are other at-home tests that require a doctor to sign off on it, but you could do it at home. You spit into a tube, you send it in. That could look for all of the mutations in the BRC1 and BRCA2 two gene, which is risk for breast and ovarian cancer. Remember when Angelina Jolie, you know, heroically announced, I have this gene five years ago, it was $4,000 for the test. Mm -hmm. Now it's been democratized for less than 100. Yeah, that is incredible. Should everyone, including men, consider getting tested for the BRCA gene? Men are just as likely as women to be carriers of the BRCA gene. And so I'm a believer, yes, knowledge is power. If you have it, you want to intervene. 70 plus percent chance of breast cancer, 40 plus percent chance of ovarian cancer, both of which can dramatically change your life and your family's life. So yes, I believe you should. David, you just said you spit into a tube, but let me tell you, when I did 23andMe, it's a whole lot of spitting. So how- I've you seen you do it, I think <laughs> yeah. you can. No, I can do it, I can do it, I can, it was not a problem. I have a lot of saliva, but how easy or difficult is it to take the test, generally speaking? Well, taking the test is easy. Yeah, it takes you know 10 minutes, 15 minutes to spit into the tube. What's important to me though, is that there either be a doctor or a genetic counselor involved because this is serious stuff, and I want to make sure you really understand, as the consumer, what's going on, because big decisions have to be made in either direction. Well, I, this is what, I remember during our pregnancies, there were lots of different tests that we took, and we get the results back, and it was madness trying to figure out what they meant, what they meant relative to the percentages. It was very difficult and frustrating and a little scary. So how does this avoid those problems? But before you answer, I love how you said our pregnancies. Did yes. you like that? Yeah. Our pregnancy, you sort of own it. I like that. Well, teamwork. Yeah, yeah, teamwork. But let's be By the very way. clear who did all the work <laughs> but and still. who was trying to be as supportive still. as possible. I don't want to suggest, Gail. No, but I like how he says that, our pregnancy. Go. Pregnancy Continue. is stressful on the male. I mean, yes. don't get it. The, uh, uh, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a very serious decision. Yes. And, and so, I, you know, you're right. It's not binary. It's not black and it's not white. It's, you know, relative risk. And so whether it be you're higher than average, you know, I took the test myself. My results were on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. Mm -hmm. And I was higher risk for heart disease. It didn't mean I was going to get it. It's just the national risk factor you know, was 38% for a male of my age. I was in the high 40s. I mean, it, it changed what I did. And I really paid attention. But it's not a yes, no answer. So you really need somebody who understands it to explain what it. What are the downsides of taking it? The downsides are you're going to do the wrong thing. The downsides are you're not going to talk to someone who's going to explain it. And, you know, the other downside is there are people who are so the worried well that if I say you have a higher than likely chance, you're not going to sleep for the next six right. months, which certainly ain't good. Yeah. But for most people, knowledge is power. All right, Dr. Agus, knowledge is power. In and all that's things. why know where the forward is and know where the reverse is before yes, you get in the car. Power yes. in all things. You're right. <laughs> Thank you, doctor.